What is going on lads and welcome to some V1.1 gameplay. So it's still a bit fresh obviously the gameplay so we haven't tested out that many games but we have got uh, time to play two in our lunch break so we have played two of the events obviously divisions aren't there they're meant to be back tomorrow the matchmaking was up it was down it was up it was down oh lads i mean it was an absolute disaster you can't like in 2022 you can't have an online service like that and expect to retain people that are going to play the game because there's just so many games that you can pick up and play now you have to be fighting for that attention and they haven't made it easy on themselves now we are going to focus today on a couple of things uh, most notably we're going to focus on the defensive uh, defensive ai or the defensive uh, responsiveness the dribbling responsiveness the dribble responsiveness that they've spoken about and the kickoff exploit and just our overall thoughts on v1.1 because i do have a couple of concerns um there is one or two things that i'm really happy about but yeah there is a couple of there is a couple of concerns lads uh that i uh, that i do have from just this limited this limited window of playing as i said i've only played two games i mean firstly here we're going to talk about the refs and the tackling I don't see anything wrong with that tackle there. We're going to have a couple of more of them. Uh, so don't worry, I haven't uh, you know, examined that one and put it under the microscope yet because we have a couple of more coming up in the second match that I want to want to focus on that are kind of better examples. Um, but yeah, as I said, like there is a couple of good things, obviously, which we'll get to. And there's a couple of bad things that I am actually a little bit concerned. And me being somebody... Lads, look, at the end of the day, right... I'm I'm positive in a way that like if I'm enjoying the game I can overlook a lot of stuff I know what that pass was it doesn't mean that I'm like just accepting anything that's put out you know what I mean I'm not happy about Master League I'm not happy about the servers I'm not happy about the the you know the divisions being down for a couple of days or a couple of weeks it's not good enough and I've said that time and time and time again over the podcast or whatever it is going to be but at the end of the day, I mean, I, I'm, in, I'm playing what's actually available out there at the moment. I mean, we can't play Master League. It's not good enough that Master League isn't out. But, you know, starting every video or having a, you know, 20-minute video every day saying that, that Master League isn't out. I mean, you know, people are enjoying this game. So for those guys that are enjoying the game, you have to kind of strike a balance of, you know, actually reporting on the news and updating people because you know some people don't follow the news like daily or whatever so when you put out a video and they watch it you kind of have to just give the news and obviously you know there is some things in eFootball that I like and I'm not going to apologize for liking some of that stuff you know me enjoying the gameplay and the dribbling and stuff doesn't under or doesn't undermine the fact that I'm very disappointed with the whole you know actual product as a whole master league or whatever but anyway look we'll get into that in another video i just i do see the criticism i do see the feedback lads and i appreciate it i mean i'm not beyond getting feedback and criticism if you guys you know think a certain thing now this guy i skipped out a lot of the highlights in this game lads because this guy started to just pass it around the back pass it to the keeper you're going to get guys doing that i mean obviously just try not let it bother you but i went to attack and just to try and open it up a bit um but you know like concentrating on what's actually out at the moment which is their online centric mode which is eFootball's dream team and concentrating on the actual gameplay and the objectives and all that that they're doing there is in in, in my opinion right now this is this is a big issue for me um in terms of the responsiveness and the awareness of the attacking players like right watch salah here right this is this is game breaking for me because i'm not pressing anything i'm not literally not pressing anything actually to let the ball run through there now i know how to manually let the ball run through your legs you just hold r on the right stick but i wasn't pressing anything and again this is another issue that i have which we'll see in the second game even more there seems to be still a lot of space coming from kickoffs a lot of space now focusing on some of the positives right it's hard to it's hard to um or still the negative sorry it's hard to justify how this is a free kick lads now you tell me right if i'm blind or if this is just an absolute outrageous call i'm gonna slow it down here like the ball is completely gone before i make contact with his right foot which is kicking the ball so if anything he's after follow through and kicking me in the in the, in the back of the ankle on the calf you know what I mean? We don't all have Jack Grealish calves. Do you know what I mean? We can't all take that pressure, especially Neymar. So I do get a penalty here and I slot it home as your boy likes to do. He gets keeper to it. He'll be feeling a little bit hard done by, but that's what you get. That's what you get the bit of luck every now and again. And again, this guy was doing the kickoff. He was trying to get the kickoff. It's like one, two passes and you get a chance on goal. Unless you can stop this final pass coming in, you're going to concede a goal a lot of the time, right? And I try this in the second game. 
like Neymar again, you know, that's something, the skill move that I'm not doing, it's, it's, uh, it's just automatic. Again, all right, focusing on the positives, lads, right? Because we do have to focus on the positives. This video isn't broken down into, you know, part one or part two of focusing on different things. It's just, it's just a clip after clip after clip. I do think that the dribbling is vastly improved in this. Now, it's not vastly improved as I'd say like that it's like this guy tries to go straight away from the kickoff. Um, you know, you're going to get guys doing that. We'll talk about that in a second. But I do think that the dribbling... When I say vastly improved, I don't mean that it's like 20% better or 30% better than V1.0. Uh, oh. I, what I mean is that like, I think that it's now becoming a game of 1v1, like where you can actually take on the man and beat him 1v1, slowing down the pace, you know, burst and pass with acceleration. You'll see me do it a couple of times with, this, with a goal or two that I get. It's, again, it's a lovely chance there from Romario. Now, the, lads, look, right? The problem I think I have with it a lot of the time is the ball just bouncing into space? Like, that is a big issue. And I know that, like, you're going to have to keep that. You can see a few issues with the player cursor switch in here that are still remaining. And obviously, eventually, it costs a goal, uh, shot for me on target, and I get away with it. But the chances are just keep coming here. And again, it eventually gets broken loose. Um, but there's just so, there, like, there's just so many kind of, like, times when the ball will bobble into an area where it's like, okay, just go for it. And the players just take, like, a slight second to actually realize now this is what i talk about with the dribbling look at this change of pace he holds me up beautifully that's brilliant the defensive responsiveness is there he's no complaints my dribbling is you know that's the battle that you want that's what you want you want a, a battle of the of the of the minds where you're going to say right you're going to go left you're going to go right similarly here you know i get carved open it's a bad pass from him and i get on the attack straight away and look, lads, nine games out of ten, right, are going to be focused on the counter-attack. You can see me spin away with Neymar here. I take a bad touch. He gets unlucky. Ball breaks into Salah. Lovely little dummy. Pop it into the bottom of the corner. This guy was a good player. He was manual goalkeeping. He knew, he knew what he was doing. But the dribbling, I think, is, is vastly improved in terms of e-football overall. Now, this is another issue, as I said to you. This is coming. I could see that this still isn't properly fixed. Now, we're going to have a look at this in a second, right? You can complain about players doing this. And yeah, I don't personally like doing it. And I don't appreciate when people do it against me. I think it's very cheap. But as they've said there in the notes that you just see on the screen, I'm going to rewind this back and slow this down, right? You can say here and you can pick this apart and say, yeah, it's me defending poorly. You can see I try switch to uh, P.O. there and it just doesn't work now, right? When we switch this down again and I try to do it myself, Look, it just creates an opportunity for me that even though I don't, you know, get the ball in, I still get kind of a chance on target or I get the ball into his box with literally what? Like uh, one pass? So I think that is something that you can complain about people doing against you and you can call them, you know, ab ab abusing the game or whatever it is. People are going to do it because people want to win. It's as simple as that. You have to be able to balance certain things that are broken in the game. And again, this is, I mean, lads, this is crazy to see this type of defending. I mean, what is Van Dyke doing? He literally throws his arse right in front of his face. And I don't even know how to describe what he's trying to do to intercept the ball here. Again, I started to spam the kickoff then. I just wanted to test things out and to see, you know, how, you know, they had fixed it or if they'd improved it or whatever. You can see here it's a bad pass from me. But, like, from the kickoff, if you're a decent player, if you're a decent to good player, you are going to get a chance in goal you know on that you can see there again a beautiful tackle here from maldini to start us off and lads this is the thing when when e football flows and the tricks and the responsiveness to defend and the tackling when it flows it's a brilliant game and that's why i said at the start of the of the video like i make no apologies for me enjoying what i enjoy in e football i always want more i want master league i want edit mode but look at the dribbling here. I mean, this is a perfect example of it. Like, Neymar is just dancing around. And this is what the players, if you are a good dribbler, being able to, like, there's no fancy tricks. There's no fancy flicks. You don't need tutorials for any of this stuff. It's all left stick or stick dribbling. You know, little touches, little flicks. Kind of letting the, the defender uh, commit forward and then taking him off his left foot. Like you would kind of play and dribble in real life. You know, momentum, acceleration, pace, shift of direction. Like, all this sort of stuff here with Neymar. I mean, he comes out here, he defends really well, but I just absolutely skip in past him and bury it. And that is when it shines for me. The defending with Maldini, the slide tackle, the dribble, the pace, the passing. And, you know, that's when the e-football shines for me. Again, we're going to see the kickoff here. This is a very good game for the kickoff to see. Like, he... 
watch how many people he has forward here, right? Even though it's offside. Watch the amount of space right here that he has. Like, he's literally got four players forward in an offside position because that's what the AI does from kickoff. It's very, very, very frustrating, especially if you don't play that way yourself. If I play possession, which I do, or you guys play possession, it's very hard to compete with that direct style of play. But again, you're seeing here with Mario, this time the flicks and the tricks don't work. I get it back with Ronaldinho, and he's going to take a chance out, passing it out. Now, I wanted to create a chance here where this guy was pressing, 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 because he was sitting back deep. I'm passing, I'm recycling, I'm trying to play a bit out wide. There's nothing happening. My players are just deciding to stay central. I don't know why that is. Again, I get a chance here, and if I get this chance right back in there, I think I would have scored a goal with Vieira on the overlap, but unfortunately, it wasn't to be. So, yeah, let's look. There's a lot. There's still a lot of issues here, and to be honest with you, I mean, I, I they just keep need to keep balancing it. Like, I think the pace of the game, the, the dribbling of the game is fantastic. When the game flows and when you can, you know, go, like, look at this from Neymar. I mean, this looks absolutely unbelievable. I do make the wrong option here. I probably should have walked it in a little bit, but I could have stole that win at the end with a brilliant wing play from Neymar, who's been absolutely incredible in this series, but or in this, uh, this video. But, yeah, look, we see all the objectives pop up, obviously, as well, and we have that. And that's a nice thing, lads. But, look, for me, there's a lot done, a lot more that needs to be done. Because obviously you need the game to be as balanced and as fair as possible. You're going to lose games as you saw in the first episode where you get a bit unlucky. And you know you concede like free kicks or penalties or whatever it is that you concede. But at the end of the day you need to have it as balanced as possible. And I still think that there's work to be done that way. As I said I'm enjoying what's enjoyable in Dream Team. I'm enjoying what's enjoyable in eFootball. The dribbling, the passing, the moving, the possession based gameplay. But I don't enjoy some of the stuff that is there also. And it can take from the enjoyment of it. You know, there's a lot left to be done for this game to be the full finished package. And we know that it's going to be a year or two before we get Master League and all that sort of stuff. And, the, you know, co-op and whatever it is going to be. But, like, there is massive potential there. And that's kind of what I keep clinging to. But, yeah, let me know, lads. Let me know what you guys think. Because your opinion obviously matters to me as well. Because I, I, every time I look in the comments, you guys have some really, really good insight. Um, and keep the feedback coming as well. I mean, look, I am enjoying e football, But there's a lot of stuff that it's fallen short on. So, if they don't kind of, like, buck up a bit... Um, you know, you do you do need to, you know, their main thing here is customer retention. That's what they want with a free-to-play game. You know, people buying coins, and that's fine, but you have to have the core experience as the main driving force behind it when all the shiny stuff fades away. So, yeah, that is it for me, lads. Look, V1.1, still to be determined my final say on it. I need to play a couple of more games. Um, but from those two games there, you can, you can see yourselves, you know, the defending, the ref, some of the decision making, the dribbling is vastly improved, but the, the, the decision making of the referees and some of the tackles and collisions are still disastrous in my opinion. Um, the responsiveness, sometimes it's brilliant. It seems to be a lot, a lot like slicker through the animations, shifting from making a tackle to recovering from a tackle and all that sort of stuff. But some of the positioning from the AI then kind of lets that down. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I will talk to you later. Hope you enjoyed the video, lads, as ever. Get in touch in the comments below. Peace.